<laughs> okay, so see in Petra the 3,152 tools and like the ones that we've seen earlier today in the morning uh, the treasury was carved as a replica of the monastery so this came around the 3rd 2nd century BC and it was called the uh, it is called the monastery because the monks during Byzantine time they lived here but the monastery like the monks they'd never done any uh, carving of this thing here Archaeologists believe that they removed roughly around 16,000 cubic meters of the rock in order to carve this monument right here. Started carving staircase on the left side right there, reaching up to the top. If you look at that freestanding urn there, they had to empty rocks around, around it. Imagine that, like the amount of rock that was removed in order to carve that one over there. So that tomb over there is 51 meters high and 46 meters wide. The largest tomb that is still intact <coughs> in Petra. This one right here. You could see, of course, the lower part is eroding because it, it lacks calcium. When sandstone uh, lacks calcium, it makes it really easier to erode quickly as what you can see right now. In 2000 and, until 2002, it was possible to climb up to the top right there um, and watch the sunset from up there, which was something really special. But what happened was a, a Japanese who uh, fell off from the top and he died, was killed. When he got back to his room, they found a letter that he intended to commit suicide in Petra. Okay. So it was a suicide case. Okay. And the uh, second case was a girl from the state. She was 23 years old. She was standing on the edge right there where those two guys are actually standing. She was sipping backward without paying attention. And she fell off and she killed herself too. After that incident, they built up that wall right there and blocked the stairs up to the monastery. Thank you. So, no more people climbing up there, unfortunately. You could see now how beautiful this monument is. Perfect timing to come at this time of the day to watch the uh, color of this monument right here uh, changing. If you stay here probably for another like an hour or so, you will see, actually, exactly like an hour from now you will see like the entire rock facade right here turns into red. I'll have some pictures for that actually. It's a beautiful rock. But uh, maybe if we stay here until the sunset time, then we will, we will be dark when we make our way out.